Okay, continuing the haul, um, I got a couple of gift boxes. Gift boxes um, in my house serve not only to wrap a gift uh, for Christmas morning, but it's also a gift box that serves as a decoration until there's presents under the tree because I don't like there being a bear under the tree area. So um, this one says, let it snow on the side, and it's got this wood and the snowman, and I just thought that was really, really cute. Um, it's even printed on the inside and the inside of the box, which is just, I love that. Uh, I picked up this for my son-in-law for his garage. Um, that's his workshop. That was at Hobby Lobby. Uh, Paper Studio was 50% off, so I went ahead and picked up some of this um, fine, uh, small size uh, jute uh, twine. Uh, my daughter picked up this because she thought it would be cute for my grandson. Um, this is just adorable to me. I just love this old floppy hat. It just, I love that. And then this one was too cute. Look at the glitter on his face. I hope you can sell that. Oh, maybe. Maybe so. Maybe so. Yeah, now you can see it. Yeah. So he's cute. Um, let's see. This is, all this was at Hobby Lobby, I think. And then I thought this was really pretty. I don't know if I'll put this in the um, on the Christmas tree or if I'm just going to have it in my craft room. But I thought it was just really pretty. It kind of inspires me um, with an idea. Um, this ornament definitely is going on my tree. I loved it. Very rustic. Um, farmhouse country. And, you know, just, okay. Yeah, I love it. Um, of course, for my grandson, my first Santa visit, and it's got six stickers. So, my first Santa visit, pick my first tree, best present ever, countdown till Santa arrives, leaving cookies for Santa, no mistletoe needed. I just thought this was cute. My daughter um, is coming Saturday for um, the fifth, Saturday the 15th for uh, uh, Christmas, and so she'll have this you know, to use. Um, so, we got uh, the 50% off of the craft envelopes and cards. And, actually, this is just the envelopes. I bet she doesn't even realize that. Oh, well, we've got craft paper to make the cards. Uh, my youngest daughter got those. Um, this is some bottle cap stickers. And this is like seasons for different things. And she got those because we have a ton of bottle caps. I got some. Mine are more of the vintage style. And you just stick it. It's perfect size for the bottle cap. Stick it in. And then you can make a necklace or a charm for it. And since I've got a bunch, I thought, okay, I'm going to go ahead and get those. So, let's move on to the next thing. I have another box here. This one is um, has reindeer on it. And it's got a buffalo plaid on the side um this one again is is printed on the inside as well i got this was at michael's i got these little snowman tags um everything christmas was uh 60 off the day i went plus i had a 20 percent off coupon so i got these for you know cheap and there's um 21 pieces in there and these would be really great to to go in an album my daughter has um a Christmas village that she's collected, so she picked up some things. A little ladder to go. Um, here's a Santa, the deer, and the doe. A little dog that's sort of like our Daisy, not completely, but um, it has a little floppy ear like Daisy does. And there's the town Christmas tree. Okay. Then I got some ribbon, and ribbon was, let's see, ribbon was 60% off plus I had a 25% off coupon. So, um, anything that's neutral that I can use all year, I got, and this ended up being 15 cents a yard uh, for this. So, even hobby, uh, Dollar Tree can't beat that. Dollar Tree is about 33 cents a yard, and so that's my my gauge if I can get something less than that. So I got the red and the green. This is the same sort of linen um, burlap sort of uh, 
ribbon and I got, let's see, there's two of those brown. And I got this one that has the pine cones on it because I'm going to add that to my garland collection. The garland might not get done this year because we've been super busy. Um, and here's some twine. This is a little bit bigger, but I, I needed some different sizes of the twine. I got a ornament that's a, a blank because I want to do uh, one of the ornaments like Marami Small Art. Marami Small Art did. Marimi Small Art. Anyway, Marta Lapowska. Um, she is um, just, just phenomenal if you don't know her, but um, I'll, if I think about it, I'll put a link below or you can ask me in the comments and I'll give you a link. But she is amazing and she does all sorts of things, watercolor and she does painting, she does mixed media. And she took these kind and she put a paper clay um, molded uh, piece on top and then um, painted it and oh my gosh, it was so, so pretty. So I'm thinking about doing something like that. Um, I don't use washi. I've, I've used it like three times ever, but I have obviously a growing collection of it that I love. Um, this thank you washi, I have an idea for that. So all of those actually will get used. This with the um, measuring, I figured that would be really easy, easy to use. Um, this with love, again, I have an idea for that with the thank yous. And then these would be really easy to use in journals because it's got that floral and pink design. Um, what uh, this is for my farm journal, and I picked up two of those just in case. And then I have um, some red, white, and blue because, I don't know, red, white, and blue, I just love it. And so I got those. I thought those were really cute. This one is labels, so I thought it would be cute um, in the farm journal or really anything, but each one is a different label, so I really love those. Um, and then this one has these little sayings on there, and I just thought it was really cute. So I got that one. Sydney, uh, my youngest daughter, she got some more and we share a lot. So um, she got these and these. She's, she's got an um, idea for using these for a Christmas. Uh, she's going to do a craft frame. I'll link her um, channel below too. But she's got an idea for these. Um, she got a plain coffee mug that she's doing for my oldest daughter. And let's see what else. Okay. Then at Hobby Lobby, I got um, this spray. And it will go in um, with uh, my my Christmas um, and winter uh, decoration in my vase. I'll show you all that if I do a walk around. Seriously, I don't know if I'm going to do it or not. Because, I mean, I would have to clean up for that. A lot. <laughs> Here's this wreath um, box. It's another one. I got this one at Hobby Lobby. These others I got at Michael's. Um, and then I got this one at Hobby Lobby. I just thought it was really pretty. Um, so, and it's it's big like this. It's a big round box. Um, this came from Target. It was uh, $3, but... Um, I actually had a, uh, um, um, love that Target gift card, so I ended up not paying for any of my Target stuff. Uh, this little, uh, envelope is just super cute, and then, you know, it's got a hard piece in there, and then you can put whatever you want inside, and I just thought it was darling, and a little snowman. Um, I got some of these wood words, um, the joy and believe can can go year round, and of course they can all be painted. Um, I got these napkins to use for our Christmas. Um, I have um, fabric napkins, but we all end up wanting a paper napkin instead. Uh, 
I picked that up at lunch. <laughs> has nothing to do with anything. And look at this guy with his glasses. He's so cute. I just thought he was just cute. And then I uh, love Bell's Rustic. Rusted. Looks old. So I got a couple of packs of those. Oh my goodness. I think I'm done. What did I forget? That's it. That's it. Can't believe it. I'm to the end of it. And guess what? That is the end of the haul. There will be no more shopping um, through through the end of the year. So the, any of the hauls that you're seeing were ones that I did, you know, before this. So um, uh, there we have it. So thank you all for stopping by. And I will see you again soon. And uh, give me a thumbs up. If you like this video and want to see more, and I will be sharing some more projects very soon. Bye. Okay, guys, I forgot a couple of things. Um, my daughter has a, a lab. It's uh, part pit bull, part lab. They rescued it, and um, she's this color, and so uh, we picked up a couple of bags like that for them. And then my favorite thing that I picked up, look at this. It's enamelware. I have a lot of enamelware in my kitchen. And I have this wood mail sorter that's got, you know, three different slots. And um, really, we use one and a half. So I thought, well, I could just put this in there and put that stuff in it. Um, but then again, I love it for my craft room. So I'm really trying to think if I want to go back and get another one. Spring stuff was 40% off. Uh, so I may go back and get another one. Plus I had a lot of other enamelware sort of things. And so I'm, I'm really excited about going back and getting a few things like that. Because again, you know, um, I have 1940s original real enamelware on top of my kitchen cabinets. Um, that was my grandmother's uh, and what they actually used. Um, and coffee pots, teapots, that sort of thing. Uh, you know, I've, I've got all of that. Um... So, um, even a military uh, meal kit uh, container. So, this kind of fits along in with that, even though it's not original. But, you know, it, it does fit with that theme. So, I think I'm going to bring that sorter down here to the craft room and use it for some different things. And then put this up there to hold the mail because, you know, it's, it's just the right size. And it fits that decor really well. And I don't have to have it down here in the craft room. And if I love it that much, then I can go back and get another one at Hobby Lobby because that's what Hobby Lobby does is they enable me to purchase things. Okay, um, so I will see you guys soon. Thanks.